Good word. Ow. Kitty, we are alive. We survived the crash. Oh dear, yes, we are alive. Hmm. But it word is gone. But he brought us home. We are outside of the town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier about it. What is it? It's just that... I wonder where Itward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you could take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty. But I took all the pills already, you see? The bottle is empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe Itward will come see me someday. Oh, it opened. Is that a keyhole? I wonder what would happen if I find the key. Red bicycle. Is this Itward's bicycle or mine? Oh my goodness, this is our street, Kitty. Hayes Street! Yes, it is. It says Hayes Street, but my house is in that direction. And here we are. This looks much more gray than I remembered. Well, I hope and Grace will be happy to see me. That's the window to my room. Flowers are quite dead. Too bad. I hope it rains. Hmm. I can't see inside. Huh. And Grace, hello. Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? No, I don't have it, Kitty, but I know there's a hidden key somewhere. I just need to remember where. Hmm. Let's find it. Is it in the planters? It's like always in the planters. I took the key, friend. Friend? That's me. But I haven't taken the key, and I didn't write that note. This is also confusing. What should I do now? Here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems that I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it? That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now in order to get inside, kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Ah, uh, alright then. Wish me luck. You can do it, kitty. Be careful. It's midnight. Do you hear me, kitty? Open the door. Oh. Friend? Can't believe this. You are alive. Where were you? Get away from me. I won't go back to the asylum. I've been looking for you for a long time now. How did you escape? That's none of your business. Leave now, please. Hmm. But where are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight? Isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you are here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Friend, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. 
He is inside. He will open the door in a minute. Stop it, friend. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. <gasps> no! Get away! Get away! Let her go! No... No... Sorry, friend. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, friend, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Martin and Lucia Bao Dagenhart were found early this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hayes Street. The investigating police officer, Marco Homa, said it seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise or were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bow, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. What? Froze to death? Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Fran Bo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents' murder. Beloved Fran Bo. Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. But I am not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplomatin were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplomatin creates a door between the subconscious and the conscious. The problem is, if the ecto plummetin is too high, the door will be too wide, and that can create a great confusion in your brain. Great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes, but that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, friend? I can see the ultra-reality, sir, and also travel into other worlds. Ultra-reality? That must be the consequence of DOT, nothing more. That is not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean that you are imagining things. That's all. <laughs> I try to tell my mother the truth, but father, father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Did your father harm you with his knife, doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true. Oh, please, let's focus. Well, you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who is behind all of this. The nurses, Oswald, who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents, and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in Isersa, with Polon Truss and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Polon Truss, and my kitty is all alone. Polon Truss, Itward, please, Fran. 
Palantras is the doctor of Ethersa. He is a flying creature. Very fluffy, sir. And Edward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you have been living you've been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw a mother and father too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? Reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum that claimed to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. Well, what happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sold them together. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. That is awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we could find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, doctor, but maybe Polentras was right about you. You are not a bad doctor. You are just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Wow, hello, stone women. Are you sleepy? Aish. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others, others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffins. Alright, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deadly worms came already. Who? Mm, anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left and you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes right here, alright? Yes, Dr. Dearn. I'll see you soon. I wonder what the lady has hidden between her hands. Is it a little bug? Haven't you rested enough already? This is me. Franbo, huh? I wonder who came up with the lie like this one. A candle keep my parents warm. Can I light it? Oh, I lit it up and I got an achievement called Memorial! No name, no flowers. Maybe nobody is down there. Okay. Oh, it's stuck. This must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. Well, there must be a way to open it. <gasps> I accidentally tapped out! No, um... What if I just burn it? Okay. Well... It was worth a shot. Oh well, time to go home. And there's something- oh, crowbar, person. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Are you 
use a crowbar for the um, door. Oh. Shh. You have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. What? Oh my goodness. A giant. Oh, please don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see. Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Oh, that's quite an interesting... Shiny leather? Hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deadly worms wanted it back. So we are looking for something more... synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? Depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me, from the inside. I could do that, but... We can help each other out, instead. Bring me a piece of leather, and I'll open the door. Alright, giant miss. But where will I ever find that? Huh. Alright. I'll see what I can do. Leather. There can only be leather in his car, right? So sorry for your car, but this is necessary. <laughs> oh, thank you, Giant Miss. Our tribe, the Pine Zedalus, will be happy. And now, I'll open the door. Just a second. Are you all right, Sebastian? Sebastian? I'm I'm all right, miss. Yes. Good. Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Eh? Got you. <laughs> Why is he running? What are you running? Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. Hmm, there's nothing in here I could use. This is not wonderful at all. I need to find something to dig with. There you are, friend. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Ooh. Well, now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, friend, but you can do the honors of opening the coffins. Alright, sir. I'll open them. Alright, the coffins can't be opened. The lids are stuck. Hmm... Only hers. Oh, mother, you're so skinny. A bit too much, I would say. But I guess you would take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? Is the bed comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, mommy. Oh my goodness, father. The deadly worms took your eyes. I wish you could talk and tell me who took you away from me. Was it the big bad monster daddy? The cat. Cat. Woohoo! I'm not in the coffin! Great! But that can't be my kitty, because Mr. Midnight is home. Poor kitty. I wonder if you had a name. Well, I'll name you Albert. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir, I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. 
Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you, your cat was missing. Maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. Alright, Fran. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. No! Vanish into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I have taken away from you the light, the one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. Oh my god. You broken little girl. The House of Madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, friend. Wake up. Chapter 5, The House of Madness. And Grace, is that you? Hi, darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please, give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? Well, what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. That is not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? Well, you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He is my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But on Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me, now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining Fran, don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining Fran, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry, and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. Oh no. Don't leave me here. And Grace, come back please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he is fine. But what should I do now? Tick tock. Tick tock. Crazy sound. It never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room, in another time. Or I'm just imagining things. But if it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Dearn said everything is in my head. is in my head. Oh, 
Oh! And the wind took all the magical dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed. This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you are chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog. And yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Well, you are myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Itward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed. That means you are broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes. A man called Leon came to visit once and he told me everything. Oh, and can you tell me then why we see the things that we do? What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he is in danger. When Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty. You know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. It so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh. I don't have anything in this. Oh, I'm controlling her. That's an incredible key collection. Clothing, make shows. It's us and it word. Two blanket and one white. Crayons to draw happy faces on everything. A jacket. Yellow dress. Let's see, which key? Let me try this. Unlocked. It looked like this one, didn't it? Thank you so much, friend. You really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, friend, before I forget, Palantras told me if we met someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think it will help you to open something. Oh, Palantras, you know him too. Wow, thank you. He also told me that if we met, you would be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Come on, friend. You must see the doctor now. No, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. The nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. cat hair all over it. I won't lick it. Okay. Can I examine this? Nice cool case. Mm-hmm. 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 
The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I pressed it by the ears. First, twice to the left, and once to the right. I rubbed its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I dig him once by the left here and scream. Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Each dress for sunny days. Coat when it's windy and cold. Summer dress, big buttons. Regular scarf, shoes. Balloons! Who is this? Who is this? This is Alice from school. We like to play together. Punch. Hat. Books. Candy. Thingy. That. Mirror. Dollhouse. Pinecone. You move stuff in here. Oh. Keep this little piano to play my lovely little melodies. Wait, wait, there's wait, there's something here. It's a texture. What could it be? Like what is that? Can I use it with this? Hold on. There we go. But this can unlock something. Can it unlock this? Okay. Hmm. Does not work. Damn this. Okay. All right. All right. I got you. I got you now. I didn't realize that these are the ears. There we go. I'm gonna read this. Wake up, mother, Mabuka. The horn child is playing with the light. The Malakas is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give up the child before the darkness ends in the hands of the light. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the Ikog clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright the light, she cried. Me, Mabuka, the mother of darkness will open my heart. Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. I have an empty case. I have piano keys, a working bulb, wake up clock, bottle with water, soap bar, one glove, black wire. Um. Okay. I right, look up over here. All in its place. It's your midnight's bed. Ah, Kamala, nasty creature. Excuse me, is somebody down there? Yes, I'm a somebody. Hello. Have you seen a black cat? No, I have not seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Eating from you? I think it's Kamala. Are you alright? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. Well, I may be able to help you. I got rid of a Kamala once all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. Let me, uh... Bring this in that. Oh. 
door. Okay. I love this picture of Mr. Midnight. He looks so confused. I'm in a dollhouse. Need working bulb, wake up clock, bottle with water, big guy. What are you looking at? Should we go into 102? Maybe we can try a key. that's appropriate miss I'm sorry but I need this key there are many doors I wish to unlock tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth he won't he never does besides his teeth are reinforced it would be hard to get that key without his permission reinforced teeth I see I'll see what I can do to take the key then and who are you if I may ask well I'm Fran Nice to meet you, friend. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is. You don't? Leave now. Just leave. Well, Roberto, sir. So I... Ro Roberto, sir. I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead so I know. Okay. Okay. Mabuka is the mother of darkness. The darkness. The darkest darkness. The obscurity. The end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am I at the fifth reality? I thought Remmer was the king here. Oh, Remmer. The terrible black. The son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I have said enough. All right. I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. A phone number. Okay, that doesn't work. Inside the little house. The word forgot his hat. Or maybe the hat forgot his head. I have to talk to this person. I'm not done, Mother. I'll take another bath after this one. Because I stink. Who told you that you stink? The creeps that walk on my skin. They are getting sick. They vomit every time they eat from my skin because I stink. I don't smell anything. What is the smell you're talking about? I stink like the most unpleasant stench. I believe you, but I can't smell it. Sorry, I have to go now. Why? Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It can stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. I don't like thinking about my heart's beat. I just want the soap. Soap? Are you having problem with hygiene? Yes, terrible problems with the hygiene. I smell like my flesh was all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you. Just let me have the soap for a little while. Alright then, take it. It's all yours. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep their heads, their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. Well... He doesn't fit for this. What this? Over here. 
intruder, infiltrator. Why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am Akula, the eye from the yawn. Behold my beauty. Oh, I'm so sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything. Nothing less. Everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you royal? Queen? Princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends. How lovely. Well, yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there, inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, its fur is very dark, black as the deepest night. It's him. It's my friend, Mr. Midnight. I have to go find him. But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, free free to talk up to take anything you need from my home. You are brave, and I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Akula. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. What do I need? Black wire, glove, box, water bottle, working bulb. Maybe one of these. Ouch, the bulbs are very, bulbs are very hot. Can I close this? Oh. What is this? Ah. That turns them off. Okay. We can turn this back on. Mirror is transparent. A transparent mirror, you say? I think we can go in here. Insert a button. I should insert a button. A button? My eyes are burning. To give it a coin? I do not have a coin. Inside the cage. I are looking around. One oh two. So that key on the other room is for one oh two. not a glove that I can find here? Really? Hmm. I guess not. Uh, one glove, wake up clock, and a bottle of water. 
We need to figure out where to get the water. Can I use bath water? Okay, so we got that. Can I use the balloons? Wonderful. Can I throw the water balloons at him? <laughs> so no. I can't. Well then. A clock and a glove. A glove. Right, the little house. Well, I got the key already from inside the house. Mm. Talk to him? Or maybe I can talk to him. Oh, dead skulls on the wall. You have a little flesh left on you. You brush hair. Who has hair that I could brush? to the dollhouse. Oh. I didn't even think about that. But it was on her dress. Okay. So we're back in business. Let's go. I didn't actually read what I needed to do. What else? But I got my button. I figure I'm just gonna keep going. I got what I needed to learn figure out the rest until I get stuck so then we're gonna put this here open this I've got a button there goes my button now what uh oh then I can turn this <gasps> wires oh yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Um, I need to take this back. So, what did I get again? Oh, pliers for the guy. That's right, that's right. Oh, 
I am so sorry. How could you? I hope somebody takes off your teeth as well. Well, the tooth fairy already took all my baby teeth. Insane, isn't it? That's awful. You didn't need to do that. Hello, can I talk to you? That is terrifying. The back of the giant cat. This must be for something important. May I cut this? Yes. Perfect. It's quite dark in there. Can I walk across this? Yes, I can. Hello, tree. You're big. I got this. Oh, hello there. Excuse me. I really need the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I do not talk to strangers. You don't need to talk. Just let me take the key. If I choose not talking to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. You don't need to talk. Just let me take the key. How disappointing. I have a question. Are you stuck to this tree? I'm just curious. See you later. Oh. I put it all in here. Okay. Alrighty. Yep. Okay. Four. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What if I use the hairbrush for this guy? Maybe that's what this is for. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know. A hair comb? What is that? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Alright, but just promise you won't burn me, okay? I only burn if I'm in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. What is happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You are a Lucif Luc Lucifern. All Luciferns I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Yay! Must be the key for 103. I can smell it. But I can't reach it from here. What do I do? I think we toss it. Oh. Mm -mm. We don't use it for this. Mm. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, I missed. Friend! Yes, I did it. Goodbye, Kamala. Wow, 
Wow, I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. <gasps> a branch! This is what I needed! There, a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. Thank you, sir. I have to go now. I have to must find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Nice! Let's go! Oh! Very cool. You're trying to blow out a candle with your nose? Rushing up for bed and couldn't blow the candle, so first thing I thought is, well, I can blow out my nose. She was not cash money. Oh, oh, oh no, no, oh no, that's yuck. <laughs> Ew. Creatures from above, get out from Mabuka's den. Then you are not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat. I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka, Mother Mabuka, for you, arrogant little infant. And how did you plan to wake her up, eh? With the crazy idea of Cogwin. Cogwin is a nice clock maker. He's not crazy. Ah, so you know him. I assume you've been to his thirsta. It hurts. It hurts. Horrid place, I may say. Too dazzling. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty's waiting for me. If that floor opens up on me, I'm gonna be angry. Friend? Friend? Watch out. Ah, beware of Mabuka. The awakened darkness arises from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Fran Bao, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den. That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Remmer. I think he is your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? Beans? My pills look like red beans. So yes, I took a whole bottle. And I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of ex essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential ex existence was created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you this? The great Balokas from Prime Eve told us everything a long time ago. The Keeper will be haunted by the Sons of Darkness after feeding from the Red Sea. But you are too young, I must say. Too young, indeed, to be the Keeper of the Key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remmer killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how it feels? I am all of those feelings, Franbao. I am the Sinister. All the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care if Remmer killed my parents? I thought you were nice. I am curious about knowing the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand. The reason itself, but the truth you are seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. <laughs> we go down, we go down. Uh, 
Um, okay. Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you? You little thief. Where is my knitting needle? Ah? Huh? Did you stop all your little friends with it? What? Knitting needle? Are you... Are you the dead nurse I saw back in the Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you, huh? You little beast! Pick a number, would you, and wait for your turn in the waiting room. But Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Pick a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Okay. Seven. Wonder how much, um, how long I must wait now? Hours? Maybe days? There's only little wizards on one. I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been, been waiting? Been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Um, <laughs> excuse me, everyone. But is there a way to make things faster? Yes. Become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why won't you become a doctor yourself, then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't because my R eye is blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I have lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Hmm. But how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. <laughs> how can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Enough! It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you make, can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. Hmm. That's true. But it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense, uncommon sense doesn't? Well, helps to... To be better, under to, it helps to to better understand each other. We do understand each other very well with our uncommon sense, anyway. Yes, we actually do. We respect the differences. Hmm. But who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It is not the same as seeing everything. I want to wait because talking won't make the wait go faster. Huh. Alright. Thank you for nothing. So... The number display. Can I mess with the clock at all? Exchange our tickets? Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No! Oh, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illnesses I have. What if I find out what illnesses you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me what illness this creature who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room. Waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, oh, I see him. But from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm, a, I'm in a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But now everything is so confusing. And Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. 
I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I was selected for something, but she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Ithersta and be happy. Hmm. Lovely pain. So profound. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me. <laughs> How lovely. Let's see. Tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more! Give me more! No! Leave me alone! You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright. There you go. Yay! And thank you! Your tears taste absolutely delicious. That's me! Two. It's not your turn yet. You don't know that, actually. It is. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. We don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty, and I just want to find him. A lost kitty? Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their mind instead. Huh. Lucky. But how do I get an appointment, then? Ah, oh, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. Why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. <laughs> Alright, I'll go make the call, then. I thought I was steaming at first, and I was just being, uh... Oh my god, I wrote it down, but it's right there! <laughs> Hello, yes, you told me to call and make an appointment. Mm hmm? It's Ranbo. Uh -huh. I'm available now. No, <laughs> no. Uh, no. Ye yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great. Great. Thank you. Bye. Y yes. Bye. <laughs> Let's go quickly before they freaking change our number. Well, patient number two, do you have an appointment? Yes, Franbo is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. Open nurse. Ah. Oh! That's a scary looking doctor. Uh, once or twice I've had people call me steaming fish. <laughs> I said streaming and I was like, wait, did I just imagine that R in there? But no. I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Whew, yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Um. Oh! Uh? Why are you here? You haven't chosen to end your life yet? Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are Remmer, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remmer, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dearn? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That is not true. Not anymore. 
I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing? I don't know. Plating coat person. I saw you that night, night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. Wah! <gasps> no! It can't be! Stop it! I didn't do it! I didn't! It wasn't me! Stop it, please! Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. That monster wants to trick me, I know. Everybody is crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. Come on, wake up, friend. The doctor. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you all right? Kitty, answer me. What is wrong with you? Meow. Meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Oh, that is not what a cat sounds like, but, uh, pretend? Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to their stomach, my darling. Polo and Trust can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. Oh, kitty. I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dean, all right? He seems to be in trouble. I'm gonna pull this. Dr. Dearn, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up. Please, Dr. Dearn, wake up. Are you alive? Sir? Ugh, what should I do to wake him up? What was this? Sarinja. Sarinja. I don't need this. mean to click this again. Can I inject him? Maybe this will wake him up. Ah, damn, what was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dearn, it's me, Bren! I smudged my glasses. Uh, what? I can't see very well. Branbo, sir, from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Brand, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, friend. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. All right. It wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Ah, uh, but I did. I told you she was hard. She was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, friend. Oswald? From the Oswald Asylum? Yes, friend. The same old man. Why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Hmm. 
Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remmer did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What? I don't understand how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife, after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remmer all the time, but why does he hunt me? Remmer is the manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, friend. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. And Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, friend. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Oh, don't listen to her, friend. No, oh, my cat! This is a trap! This is a trap! No, oh, your aunt, friend. Isn't that what you want? Let's not. Damn it! I was gonna stab the old man. Friend, my dear, listen to me. You must know, Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best, but for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. <laughs> and then everything will be fine? Of course. But there is still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. My cat! No! No! Kitty! My cat! Come on, friend. Stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend! You killed my best friend. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you! I hate you. Stop it, friend! Help! Help! Please help! Nah, choke that bitch out, friend. Choke her out, Fran. She deserves it. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. <gasps> I just... Fran! Bro, he shot Fran? Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Fran, are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dearn. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She is mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Edward! Edward! Yes! Oh, Fran, everything will be fine. Who... Who, who are you? I'm Edward. The one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Ecto bro, ecto prote, polontras monakaist. Of course, Guy Edward, I found him. 
Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl. Leave her alone. Midnight! Midnight is still alive! Little friend must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of the child. Friend is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, friend, and you'll be able to walk towards the light. It word? Palantras? My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight? How? You're alive, my kitty. I missed you so much. Please tell me something. Friend, we must go now. Go? Alright. Dr. Dearn, look. This is it word and Palantras. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real. See? Can you believe me now? I can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. We really must leave. Now. But can he come with us? Please? He has been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, friend. I see. Well, that's okay. I guess, as long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. you really think so? Aww, thank you, Palantras. Climb on the back of the furry dragon. Oh, we're not climbing on his back. Okay. Now let's send Dr. Deeren home. Marcel Deer Awanum, Vecma Sudensla Ecto. Goodbye, Dr. Deeren. Let's go now, friend. There's so much you must see and learn. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. So I don't know many things. But one thing I do know... That between guilt and fear... I choose happiness. So am I going back to the Estersa now? Oh, I finished it! The end! Okay... We got our cat back! It word was not a bad guy after all. Let's go. That was fantastic. Phenomenal. 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 This is hilarious, by the way. English proofreading by... And it's like... It is... It is misspelled. I freaking love that. That is so funny. That is so funny. Have you played Little Misfortune? I have! I have my playthrough uploaded on uh, my YouTube. Which, um, you can, you can find it. You can, you can find it here. 
Uh, you, you can you can find it there, by the, by the way. <clears throat> but yeah, I uh, definitely have played a little Misfortune. Fantastic. I can't believe I finished it! Let's go! 